there was so much fear and misinformation in the early days of the AIDS epidemic. There was a real fear of contagion and we had to overcome that. And so we see that once again with the emergence of COVID-19. The immediate needs when COVID-19 hit were an increased need for food. Many of our clients are still rebounding from the effects of March and still dealing with electricity and utility issues. Early April um, is when we kind of realized that we were going to have to sit down and really discuss how we deliver services. And we spent a lot of time working with staff, developing the protocols, the safety measures that would keep everyone free of COVID. Our communication pretty much bulked up where I may have to talk to a client once every three weeks. I'm not talking to them every week. Somebody's needs can change very fast. I mostly work with the Latinx community. Pre-COVID, their main needs were medication, access to medical care, bilingual services, so I'll go with them to their medical appointments. Just calling them on a daily basis just to check in with them to see how they're doing. A lot of them lost their job, didn't really know what to do when it came to the utility bills, food. Many of them got um, tested positive for COVID. They didn't know how to access care. They thought that because they were undocumented, they couldn't access you know, medical care or get tested. I was able to provide financial services to them for their food, electricity, water. We saw an increase in mental health issues. Many persons that didn't suffer from anxiety and depression pre-COVID, now had an increased level of anxiety. They were depressed more. Our therapists have had many more clients, but they've also had a greater rate of success with mental health appointments. We went to telehealth for our mental health counselors. We went to Zoom meetings. We went to telephone service and text food delivery, uh, we even set up a drive-in food bank in our parking lot. When COVID hit, we did have to find ways to kind of figure out how we're going to do this, how we're going to continue to do outreach. We put our minds together and decided to come up with this thing called Keeping It 100. Um, Keeping It 100 allowed us to have raw, real conversations authentically with each other online for, in front of everybody. Well, the group was just as excited seeing one another on Zoom as they were seeing one another in person. I think without rain, people would lose that sense of having a compassionate place. If they were not linked to us, they would not be engaged in care. RAIN está acá para ayudar a la comunidad latina y para darle los servicios que necesitan a las personas que han sido diagnosticadas con HIV y no importa si ellos son indocumentados o no, los servicios son, están disponibles para todos.